Hi there, this is Fixed It. I've got my new mini CNC engraving machine, which I got off eBay. Until I'm fully familiar with it, I want to be able to keep a close eye on it. But obviously one of the problems with these machines is that they kick out an enormous amount of fine swarf or other materials as you do in the cutting. The big machines come in the enclosures and the enclosures can cost several thousand pounds. So what I decided I'd do is I'd try and find a very large transparent storage box to build a chamber for the CNC machine to sit in. And in one of the local cheap shops I came across this 110 litre plastic large storage box called the Grand Chest for a staggering £9.99 and I'm going to make a few simple modifications to it I'll just uh, zoom in on a few places so you can see the y-axis motor is actually here right up against the plastic so what I'm going to do is to use my uh, heat gun or a hairdryer so that I can extrude that plastic out and make space for it and likewise I also need to do the same over here on the motor for the x-axis and a couple of places where the router touches the sides. The other alteration I'll make is to heat this plastic and make a gap here so that the cables from the controller can get into the box. My idea is that the whole unit will sit on top of this plastic base and then obviously with the lip around the outside any materials will collect in the base so then I can lift the cover off and then just hoover uh, with a vacuum clean around the edges uh, as I uh, take the lid off and then hopefully I'll be able to keep keep the local contamination down to a minimum and not make too much mess but be able to see exactly what the job's doing and be close to the emergency stop button in case I make any mistakes. But I'll get the work done and then I'll do a second video showing how it works but really can't believe it, £9.99 for a CNC enclosure. And with a bit of luck it will also cut down the noise as well because of course there'll be a volume of air inside there which will contain most of the, uh, the noise and then that won't all be transmitted out to the room uh, just like one of the old line printer enclosures so I'll get that done over the next uh, few days and I'll post another video I hope you like the video and you find it useful please consider sharing it and thanks for watching bye